Welcome back to the ITU headquarters here in Geneva, which is of course hosting the three-day AI for Good Global Summit. And I'm pleased to have with me now Vicky Hansen, who's actually president of the Association for Computing Machinery, 100,000 members worldwide, and uh, a distinguished prof professor in many universities, from what I understand. <laughs> um, I understand this is a chance for you to, I guess, to get out of academia and see AI how it's applied by big business and elsewhere. Exactly, and I'm not doing this on my behalf in particular, I'm looking at this from an ACM, Association for Computing Machinery, perspective. Uh, we have a large technical membership, a lot of our members are researchers, we have a lot of practitioners, but what's interesting here is the government involvement, particularly the UN involvement, so this is a perspective to the work that we don't normally have. So it's a chance for me to find out what some of the issues are in AI and other things from the UN, what they really care about, and bring this back to our membership um, to really inform the discussions that we have from a technical perspective. And precisely, since in the time you've been here these two days, what would you say is on that report card you want to take back? You know, it's, it's interesting. There's been a lot of discussions about areas that I wouldn't have thought about personally. Um, so the whole perspective of what the UN priorities are, I had looked at that nice chart that they have about the global priorities, but it wasn't until people started talking about some of them that I was interested in that. But what this has really enforced in me is the fact that we have all these ethical issues in terms of AI. So there's this huge potential to do good and this people here are coming up with wonderful things about what artificial intelligence can do. But there's also this underlying concern about what might happen, you know, if we don't set some standards now, really figure out what we're, where we're going with this technology. And so what I really like about this event is the fact that it's getting in sort of at the beginning of when artificial intelligence is really taking off, you know, and this is a chance to really make a difference. Does that mean that, for example, your association, they need to take decisions like regulation themselves or self-regulation to ensure that good comes out of what they're doing? Um, I, I don't know if researchers uh, really want to hear about uh, regulations. We're not the ones who do the regulations, but it's good to hear about the downsides and make sure that the research that people are doing is directed at the good, per se. We're not the ones who make the, the standards for the industry, but I really want everybody to understand the potential for doing good as well as really being aware of the downsides, yes, and, and who's going to be doing the regulations. Also, we do have an international organization, so when you said 100,000 members, and uh, we, we do serve millions of people around the world through our conferences. It's really um, a global organization, and uh, the meeting here has really enforced the fact that there's different issues around the world. Um, you first asked me if uh, this was a, an American organization, but it's not. Um, I was just in China last week learning about what the issues in China are. We have an India Council. And this particular meeting has been very good in continuing to reinforce what the issues are in the different countries and how we have to really take all of those into account. We're not isolated anymore as one country or another. We all have to work together. Last, I mean, AI has also, it's been around for, well, 30, 40 years. Why, would, why are we talking about it now in terms of the risks and ethics and privacy? Because presumably that was around 30 years ago as well. Yeah, but it's just really fundamentally taken off. You know, progress was being made all of these years, but now it is something that I hear everywhere I go, and it seems like every popular paper that you pick up, you know, every magazine, now it's, they're talking about it. I look at um, openings at universities for positions, they're, you know, heavily focused on AI. This is really what is happening now. This is where the industry is going. So it, it may not be the beginnings of AI, but it's certainly the beginnings of it taking off in some very fundamental sense, yeah. Okay. Well, Vicky, thanks very much. That's Vicky Hansen there, of the president, in fact, of the ACM, 
which is the Association for Computing Machinery, a big international organization, not a US-based one. Thanks very much. Thank you.